Did Call of Duty pass the Tombstone glitch in yesterday's Reloaded update? No, they did not. And I'm here to show you the two best working methods. So first of all, of course, let's start with the portal. So with this method, of course, you want to have your items in your bag and make sure that you have drank Tombstone. Now head to the building in front of the bad signal portal. Next, head upstairs to the portal against the wall. You're going to want to go ahead and shoot these three symbols you see here in this order. Next, you're going to want to back up to the railing, purchase the portal, and hop over the railing. You're going to want to immediately turn and start running out the door, and you're going to want to run all the way to the bad signal portal. Now activate bad signal, turn around, and run all the way back to the other portal. And when you get here, make sure that you run directly into the portal. You should have about 9 or 10 seconds left. The second that you land on the other side of the portal, go ahead and turn immediately to your right and run through the gate. When you get to about 2 seconds, you're going to want to vote yes on the portal. going to start the 10 second countdown. The main goal here is to get out of bounds at 6 seconds. If you go out of bounds at 7 seconds, you have gone too fast and you will lose your weapons, but set a tombstone. If you go out at 5 seconds, you have gone too slow and you will keep your stuff, but you will lose your tombstone. Now, the same as before, console players are going to want to force close their game as soon as they see the red skull pop up on their screen. PC players alt f4 on the black screen now once you load back into the menu your items should be there waiting for you and now that you have your stash bumped up to 20 you should be able to stash some of these now the second method requires the ether bite now i do think this method takes a little longer however i also think that this is the easier method of course with your items in your bag and tombstone drank go ahead and call your bike in and hop on it you're gonna want to drive to the beach in the top right corner of the map here you want to hop off your bike so that way the bike remembers this area then hop back on and drive into the water you're gonna want to follow the path that you see me taking here you're gonna want to steer clear of the land on either side of the river and you're gonna want to make sure that you stay as close to the center as possible so that you don't accidentally touch land. You're going to want to take yourself to the shoreline near last season's act portal in red zone. You're going to want to go slightly up on the embankment and park the bike exactly where you see me here. Don't go any higher. Now run all the way up to the portal and interact with it. Turn around and run back and jump on the bike. As soon as you get on the bike, go ahead and back up into the water and double tap your interact button to get off and immediately right back on your bike. If done correctly, the bike should teleport with you on it all the way back to the beach that you were at before. Now you simply jump off and walk to the other side of this large flat rock. This is what I use to mark the edge of the map. Now doing this method, you have a lot of extra time. So go ahead, stand on the other side of this rock and whenever you feel like it, go ahead and vote yes. And at six seconds, just step over that line. Now, of course, force close your game, the same as before. Well, there you have it. Those are the two best currently working tombstone glitches inside of the season three reloaded of Modern Warfare Zombies. If you guys like this video, please hit that like. Otherwise, please don't forget to follow me so you guys don't miss out on any upcoming zombies news, tips, or tricks. See you guys around.